Only on five, the roadblock to a multi-million dollar construction project has just been fixed. Good evening. I'm Ken Bastille. I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. KPX5 has learned the Presidio Parkway project is back on track. A computer problem delaying the opening has been resolved. Only on five, our film Mateer is on Doyle Drive with more on the glitch and how they're making sure it won't crop up again. Phil? That's right. For five years, they've been working on this project to connect San Francisco with the Golden Gate Bridge. They've had a computer glitch. It's fixed. But the big question still remains, when are they going to find the three days to shut this crowded roadway down and get the thing back on track and reconnect it? Here's the story. The software glitch in the safety system that forced the cancellation of the opening of the new Doyle Drive tunnels last week has been fixed. There's deluge systems for fire suppression. There's carbon monoxide sensors, linear heat detectors. But when they flipped the switch... They weren't functioning as they are designed to. With that, they had to hit the brakes on opening the final tunnels that are part of a new billion-dollar roadway that runs through the Presidio National Park to connect San Francisco with the famed Golden Gate Bridge. There's national fire protection codes that are requiring coal monoxide detectors, fire sprinkler systems, uh, coal boxes in the tunnels, emergency lighting, jet fans to evacuate the smoke in case of a fire, etc. And it's all run by computers? It's all run by computers. We have a control room right here in the Presidio that will be operating this set of the tunnels. And when the computer goes down, it's just like everybody, the rest of us, right? <laughs> We'll have a backup. <laughs> What happened to the backup? <laughs> we'll have a backup for the backup. Randy Rentschler with the Metropolitan Transportation Commission says that from the $6.4 billion Bay Bridge to the new Caldecott tunnels, higher standards and new technology doesn't come cheap nor does it always work the first time out. People kind of want all the bells and whistles. They want state of the art. And when you do that, there's going to be some teething issues. And the cost? That's really hard to determine right now. Do things like this usually drive up the cost of big projects? Yeah, of course they do. Of course they do. So now they begin the tests and the drills. But the big question still out there is when is the next three-day window to get the road open? That is um, coming soon. So there's a lot of people looking at the different weekends that are available. We know going into the summer there's a lot of weekend events that are scheduled that we obviously don't want to interfere with. And think of some of those events that are coming up. You have the Great Gay Pride Festival in San Francisco. You got the 4th of July. Coming up with a three-day weekend where traffic is light is not going to be easy. And it's also not going to be easy to find something on a holiday because there isn't one. So that means that the good chance that this roadway is going to be, have to be closed down on a Friday working day all day. And that is going to have some people scrambling for a solution. In San Francisco, Phil Mateer, KPIX 5.